Okay, so without further ado, let's go through example over here. Kelly spent one third of her money on five pens and eleven erasers. The cost of each pen is three times the cost of each eraser. She brought some more pens with three or four of her remaining money. And how many pens did she buy altogether? Alright, so in this question, you're not given the cost for the pen and eraser. But you do know that the cost of each pen is three times the cost of eraser. Okay, so this is a very important information. We write out the ratio between the pen and eraser, which is three units to one unit. Okay, and Kelly spent one third at first, right? All right, so this is a keyword, right, of a remainder. Okay, so this is testing your remainder concept. To find the remainder, you take one minus one third. Okay, you get two third. This two third stands for remainder. And you take three or four of her pen. Sorry, of a remainder. Alright, so you take three or four times this two third. Alright, off means times, remember? So three or four times two third, you get half. And this will represent the fraction of money that she spent on the extra pens. Okay, remember, right? She brought some pens using this uh, fraction of money. Okay. And now we find the total cost of 5 pens and 11 erasers. Okay, you take 5 times 3 unit because 1 pen and 3 unit plus 11 times 1 unit. Okay, because uh, 1 eraser is 1 unit, you get total of 26 erasers. Sorry, 26 units. Okay. And so you can recall, right? How much money that she's, how much money did she spend on this? It's one third, right? She spent one third of her money on these uh, 26 units. Okay, and the next step is a key step, right? I need to find the total amount of money that she has in terms of units. Okay, let me repeat that again. You need to find the total amount of money that Kelly has in terms of units. Okay, and since uh, Kelly spent one third on 26 units, can you make a guess what is the total amount of money? Okay, basically just 26 units times 3, you get 78 units. Alright, so basically the total, amount, the total amount of money that Kelly has is 78 units. Alright. Okay, and the next step, you take half times 78 units, alright, you get 39 units. And this represents the total cost of the extra pens. Okay, because remember, right, she spent a half of half of her money on the extra pens, right? Okay, and so now, since we know that one pen is three unit, I can find the number of extra pens that she buy, right? You take 39 units, divide by three units, you get 13. Okay, so in other words, she brought 13 extra pens. And the question asks for total pens, so you must say 13 plus the 5. And the answer is 18 pence. Okay. Okay. One important note to take note, take note that here is uh, you actually don't know what is the value of one unit. Alright. Can you see that from the start to the end, I never find a value of one unit. Okay. Because it's not possible, right, to find a value of one unit. Okay. But however, you just have to express the total amount of money in terms of units. And from there, you find the uh, extra pence that she brought. Okay, then from there you'll be able to find the answer. Alright, so do take note of how to do these type of questions because I find that this type of question is very common in exams nowadays and I got a very strong feeling that you'll come out in the PSLE paper too.